sex between consenting adults behind closed doors, well, that isn't against the law. But members-only swingers clubs could be crossing the line. At least, that's what some Broward officers think. Reporter Steve Alvarez is here with his Eyewitness News special report. Steve? Well, they belong to members-only clubs, and they say they have a right to privacy, but the Sheriff's Department says they're breaking the law, that sex behind closed doors is okay, but only if those doors lead to bedrooms and not to swingers clubs. A lifestyle many people disapprove of, but does that make it illegal? Grainy images of couples having sex out in the open, with other couples lying right next to them, watching. This is undercover video shot by Broward Sheriff's detectives just before they raided Trapeze 2, a swingers club in Fort Lauderdale. What the police said was wrong. They shouldn't have come in here. It, it is a private club. Alan Mostow is one of the club's owners. In February, he and his business partner and nearly 40 of their club members were all charged with lewd behavior. There were 150 club members and nobody finds it obscene or gross or lewd. How do they judge what is lewd? The state says to charge someone with lewd behavior, someone has to be offended. But there are signs posted throughout the club, and everyone, including those undercover cops, have to sign a consent form stating they won't be offended. We wanted to ask Sheriff Ken Jenny about the raid, but he's refused to comment. Page 14, Alan Mostow. So Mostow and virtually every one of the club members are fighting the charges, refusing to pay the fine and simply go away. I'm going to fight this to the very end. So when people come in to this club, it really just looks like... A, a normal nightclub. Mostow says there are too many misconceptions about swingers clubs, and so he invited us inside to get a better understanding of the club and, and the swinging lifestyle. You no, know, it's basically it's where couples and singles meet that want to exchange partners, which people, you know, will dance, eat, and drink. Yeah, meet others, and then if they feel like getting together, they can go they for can it. they can go in the back. Before they go in the back, they must undress in the locker room and cover up with a towel. Just outside the door a basket of condoms supplied for free by the Broward Board of Health. But I guess they but, believe in sex. But, but you promote safe sex. And as a matter of fact, we don't even promote sex at all. All we are is a faculty. If they want to have sex, that's fine. If they don't, that's just as fine. But there was plenty of sex going on when detectives shot their undercover video in various rooms. If they want to go in a private room because they're shy and modest, so be it. If they're an exhibitionist and they want to be in an open area, well, then there's a room like this where there might be four, five, six couples, you know, all lying alongside one another. They can use an adult swing. I mean, there could be 20 couples in here. Yeah. Again, they're usually with their own spouses, but they want to be watched or they want to watch other people. And it's like watching a movie, you know, yeah. an X-rated movie. Except here, they're alongside each other. When the sheriff's office raided this club, the patrons say they did more than just issue citations for lewd behavior. The members here say the sheriff's department stole their privacy. Their right to engage in a lifestyle with consenting adults behind closed doors without the whole world knowing about it. What about the patrons that have relied upon their expectation that this was a private place and now their anonymity is gone. James Benjamin and his partner represent most of the people arrested that night. Some of them are in law enforcement. Benjamin says after they fight the lewdness charges, they may file civil suits against the sheriff's department. And they, they've been invaded. They've been, they, they, they have been able to not enjoy uh, some of the constitutionally given rights that everyone else has. But so far, neither the sheriff's office or the district attorney seems ready to drop the charges. Things are very political. The powers that be don't like to stick their necks out and get it chopped off, so they'd rather have the judges throw the cases out than do the right thing. Again, neither the sheriff's office or the district attorney would comment. But Alan Mostow will, and he says what people do behind closed doors is their business. Yeah, this is an alternate lifestyle. It's not for everybody. I believe what consenting adults do that are over 21 should be their, you know, their right. I mean, there is freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of choice. So it's a case of right to privacy versus a charge of lewd behavior. There's a lot of pressure on police agencies by conservative groups to shut down swingers clubs around the country. Members say if they're hauled off to jail, police can make them take the ride, but not the rap, because they stand by their claim of right to privacy in a private members-only club. Christy? Interesting, huh?